to another Mum Hack Monday. This time we are talking all things living room and specifically making that living room that relaxing family hub vibe kind of space. For us, we spend a lot of time in our open plan kitchen diner. It's where we eat, it's where we cook, it's where we did homeschooling. And one of the things that I have noticed is that the living room tends to be our place to just relax um, it's the place that Adam and I come into after the kids are in bed so we can have that adult time and just switch off completely from the world and every night the kids will come in here and about half an hour before bedtime we pop an episode of like an old TV show or a TV show that they're really into. We've done Lizzie McGuire, uh, Recess, like all the old classics that were my favourite. Um, I think we're doing Sweet Life which I didn't watch because it was just that little bit too old and they're obsessed with it at the minute. They have a Nutella wrap and then they go and brush their teeth and go to bed. So it's kind of that pre-bedtime, totally zone out place. And I love that for it. I love that this is, this room is our place to just have some family time, chill out and totally relax. So I'm gonna give you my top five tips for making the living room your family hub and making it a really nice ambient place where everybody feels relaxed and you can just chill out. Tip number one. Okay, so tip number one, get yourself one of these from DFS. Now you don't have to have bought your sofa from DFS. You can buy these separately, but if you are buying a new sofa, I think they offer them to you. And I cannot recommend it enough. We have velvet sofas, as you can probably see behind me. And everybody said to us before we got them, no, don't do it, it's the biggest mistake. Your kids are gonna ruin them, your pets are gonna ruin them. Let me tell you, with this kit, we haven't had a single problem. I think we paid £55 for it and inside comes a resistant stain cleaner, a stain away and active clean and then you get a sponge and like a little muslin cloth as well and I swear to god it is the best kit we have ever had for cleaning off little stains like if the kids have eaten on the sofa when they've been told not to that kind of thing uh, where they've dropped a bit of chocolate or if the dog has uh, recently been having seizures, she's a really old chihuahua and she loses control of her bladder when she does, which is really awful. Fortunately, she lies on blankets if she comes up on the sofa, but on the odd occasion that that has soaked through the blanket, we've managed to whip that off really quickly, use the fabric stain remover, and there is no mess, no stains, no smell. It's completely clean. It's like it just lifts everything out of it. So my first tip would be to get yourself a Fabricare kit that is going to completely eliminate any stresses over your children ruining your sofas and also avoid having those awful squeaky plastic things and having to completely cover your sofas in throws that you don't like. That way you can have the sofa that you love stress free. Tip number two. So. This bad boy here, Magic Carpet. Now it is from Tales of Toria, which is a really small company that you might not have heard of that do all manner of Disney-based bath bombs, they do Disney-based soaps, and they also do this carpet freshener, and they call it Magic Carpet, obviously for Aladdin. I ordered some just to try it out on the recommendation of a friend, and it is amazing there's no nasty chemical smell that you might find with some powders and it's just a fine white powder that you sprinkle onto your carpets leave for 15 minutes it brightens them it makes them look cleaner and it smells amazing we have wooden floors in here but we also have this rug and what i tend to do is just sprinkle it over, make sure none of the pets or kids come in, leave it for 15 minutes and then hoover it up and it's just amazing. Tip number three, I am such a candle lover. Now, I understand that some people are not keen on candles because you've got a naked flame there, children burning themselves, little fingers. So if you feel comfortable, I love a good candle. I think they create a wonderful ambiance. I think they give a room that kind of glow that just creates relaxation plus they give the nicest smells you're not using any electricity and i just i love candles however if you don't want to use a candle then i highly recommend getting yourself a wax burner like this one that i have here if i just switch it on ah, just creates a really lush 
muted glow very similar to a candle but if you get a wax warmer like this one i have here this is a scentsy one if you go for something like this and there's millions of brands out there then it doesn't get too hot so if your children do knock it over it's not going to burn them or anything like that and the best part is it gives off a constant glow downside you're using a bit of electricity however i use this instead of having a lamp so i guess things and roundabouts but something like that that gives you a really lush kind of muted glow that's just relaxing and gives off a wonderful smell is perfect tip number four this one has become much more relevant in recent times because so many of us are now working from home if you are somebody who finds working from home really difficult or you work from home permanently then my biggest tip and something that I worked out how to do or worked out to do and have stuck to religiously is to shut off your living room during the day so we have two doors in our living room we shut them both no one comes in here after the kids have gone to school sometimes not even before the kids have gone to school and it remains almost like a no-go zone throughout the day so we don't eat in here we don't take breaks in here we just leave the room alone and then about an hour or so before the kids get home i come in i either pop a candle on or i switch on my wax warmer and when we do come in after a long day of working from home or working or the kids being at school it smells nice it's relaxing and it's our family room it's not a room that we've tried to work in or anything like that i find it helps to give me a degree of separation from working time and relaxing time it's one of the reasons that i really wanted a home office my home office used to be in my living room and i'd find that 9 10 11 well, one o'clock in the morning at night i would come in here and be like oh, just do that when you have that degree of separation you don't do that we don't do homework in here either we tend to keep this as just a room that is fun for us and family time and it works really really well hack number five okay so this is probably my favorite never ever ever clean your tv with like a normal uh, disinfectant spray or anything like that you can damage your tv screen i remember once adam coming home and i was cleaning away and he was like what the are you doing um not my best moment left a nice big streak across the tv don't do it what you need is either a specialist tv cleaner or coffee filter paper yes i'm not joking coffee filter paper does exactly the same thing and what you want to do is clean in circular motions all around the tv gently obviously and when you have cleaned the majority of the marks you'll see they just lift off and then look at this paper here look at how it lifts the dust makes such a difference it's insane and it costs you next to nothing no fancy sprays no damage to your tv just coffee filter paper and that's it thank you again for joining in with mum hack monday don't forget my book is now available to pre-order if you enjoyed the hacks and tips i have a ton of hacks tips and tricks for ways to spruce up your living room bedroom the whole house all in this book which is available to pre-order now see you next week